So let's get a bit more specific about the, the block space usage, um, specifically for Lightning Network. Uh, and here again, we'll focus on the privacy. Um, so, you know, at first, there's the uh, Lightning Network channel opening. Um, which which is where one or even multiple users uh, put uh, or send Bitcoin to an to an address. Um, so at at this step, kind of what is publicly revealed uh, about this financial transaction? Yeah. So when you open a Lightning channel um, these days, it is single funded. In the future, we'll also have dual funded Lightning channels where both parties are putting up money. It's not just uh, starting. Uh, kind of with all of the money on one side of the channel. Um, that's a, a work in progress, and I think Sea Lightning might already have that, but I, I could be wrong. Anyway, um, the thing that uh, you can discover by looking on chain is you can see that someone has put funds into a two of two multi sig. Um, that is something of a footprint. A lot of two of two multi sigs are Lightning channels these days, uh, but. I guess it's important to note once we have taproot, two of two multi sig looks like a single pub key. So you will just see nothing. Like you'll see normal transaction activity on chain for a channel opening. Um, that said, uh, it is probably important to keep in mind that if you're opening a public lightning channel, then you're also gossiping about it to everyone on the lightning network. So, um, you know, if you want a public channel, you also just tell everyone about it so everyone can see that that's what happens there. But um, if, if you don't want to do that, uh, you know, in theory, opening a lightning channel uh, just means putting funds into a two of two multi-sig on chain, which in the future will look like a single pub. Yeah, I think uh, that that holds on to the point, right? Where in, in Lightning Network, you you might even be able to obfuscate the on-chain footprint. Right? Uh, if you go a bit further with something advanced like uh, Taproot and multi uh, uh, Music and so on. Yeah, it might be difficult to actually find out that this is indeed a lightning channel. But as you say, <laughs> you go around and gossip this transaction ID to everyone uh, and tell, hey, this is my lightning channel. You can route through it. Right? Um, do you foresee that here with uh, with this gossiping aspect that we can kind of improve the privacy a bit further in lightning? So I, I, I kind of have two answers to this. Uh, first, I'll say I think private lightning channels have a lot of utility, especially in like a B2B set, the business to business setting. They don't necessarily want to use all of the routing uh, kind of aspects of the lightning network that say users and, and um, yeah, retail users might, uh, for example, something like strike as an application, I bet is using, I mean, actually, I, I don't know this, but in, if they aren't already, I assume in the future they will be using just like, you know, ch channels between all of the normal, you know, people who they are sending funds between for, for their users. And none of that stuff has to be public. Uh, so, so I guess, yeah, I, I think in the future we'll see a much larger use if it isn't already happening. Like we can't really know too well uh, of private channels. Um, but then on top of that, I guess I'll say another thing to keep in mind is that in the future, uh, not right now, but in the future, uh, Lightning channels will be able to host more than just HTLCs. So you'll be using the Lightning network for payments, but you can also say, put a DLC inside of a Lightning channel. You can put uh, all, all sorts of things inside of Lightning channels, uh, which will in turn mean that like sure maybe somebody can see where your public lightning channel is but they can't know what's in it still right they they don't know that you're using it to execute a bunch of off-chain dlcs where now those dlcs dlcs already leave almost no footprint very similar ones to lightning but once you put that stuff in a lightning channel now you have no footprint like it just disappears entirely in all cases but in case of dispute which is kind of the goal i mentioned right if if you have cooperating counterparties, you can put these contracts inside of uh, an off-chain channel like a Lightning channel and execute these contracts in a fully trustless way where in, in the end, you never actually use the contracts. You like transfer the value in the Lightning channel and throw away the contract, so to speak, in the end. Uh, but if there's a dispute, then you go on-chain is kind of the model. So I think Lightning in itself, although, you know, I think payments is like 
the awesome thing that works today in the future on top of payments, which will obviously still work, will also be able to do essentially any kind of contract that you can do on Bitcoin. You'll be able to take it off chain and have it be kind of fully private, fully scalable uh, setting where you're not paying fees on it. 